Hi, this is Gail from Life in Splatters, and I did two paintings in a similar manner using the same colors, same size canvas, and I did great big schmears on both of them. So these are uh, they're 10 by 20 inch black canvas from Michaels. I flooded them with my black meaden mixed with uh, American Floetrol and some water. And I'm just adding some ribbons of color. I've used only four colors. I find that I really like this palette. So I've placed the ribbons on the canvas and I'm going to do a little bit of tilting first. Then I'm going to do some great big schmears and uh, what I call extreme tilting where you really uh, allow the cells to uh, distort and allow the paint to sort of uh, move and create some really pretty effects. So the first big schmear is with a white Amsterdam formula and it, it gives some really pretty effects. But you know me, I like my black. And so I do another schmear, sort of intersecting that one using the black Amsterdam formula. And of the two, I like the black much better than the white. I really do like the way the paint moves when you do what I call an extreme tilt. So I'm allowing it to move a lot more than I normally would. Normally, I like my cells to maintain a nice round shape, but in this case, I want the pretty arches and the movement created by tilting it like this. And look at all the pretty little bits. You get some really beautiful cells and lacing by doing the great big schmears. And I use the uh, Amsterdam formula, which is one part Amsterdam, either black oxide or titanium white, mix one part paint to four parts American Floetrol, no water. And I apply it to the back of a palette knife and I slide it over the surface of the ribbons and look at all the pretty lacing and the cells. Really very, very effective and I don't know, it's one of my favorite things to do. And here is a second painting done very much the same way. Same size canvas, same colors of paint, same techniques, but I made a bit of a discovery. I found that if I did my schmears with the palette knife and allowed the palette knife to slide under the paints, I could create some effective negative space. Uh, I still get some cells and some lacing, but I was also able to uh, create uh, some black uh, lines through the composition, which you'll see at the end. Uh, I do to improve the composition in my mind. So again, I'm doing 
uh, both the black and the white Amsterdam formula, sliding the paint with the palette knife over the surface and look at the beautiful cells. Really, really pretty. The process helps to blend the colors together as well as make the cells and the lacing. And here you can see the first few times that I allow the palette knife to slide under the paints. It was almost a little bit of a revelation. Normally I'm trying really hard to keep the palette knife very parallel to the surface of the paint and just skim over the top. You'll see in a few minutes how I use uh, the palette knife a little differently to create some really nice lines of black negative space. So I walked away after this uh, spot here and took a look at it very closely and I didn't like how much paint and color there was in the center of this. So I want to go in and break it up. And this is where I use the palette knife a little differently. I've got the black uh, Amsterdam formula on the back of the uh, palette knife. But as I smear it across, I'm digging, say, the top third point of the palette knife under the paints. And this is almost like a transfer smear, where I've lifted some of the paint and redeposited it onto the canvas. And it creates very effective negative space. And in this case, it broke up that area of solid green and gave more movement and interest to the composition. And here are all the pretty little bits. So this is two paintings done using the same size canvas, the same color paints, applied very similarly, but two quite different looks. In the first one, I relied on the extreme tilting to create the patterns and the movement in the piece. In this one, I did it more with the great big schmears. I didn't tilt and distort this piece as much. I hope I've inspired you to try something a little different. Let's keep playing with pigments and making beautiful things. Thanks again for coming along this journey and for watching my videos and your kind comments. Take care. Thank you. Bye.